So what's the evidence? The really important one is methane leading, uh, leaking out of the Arctic Ocean. The warmer it gets, the more methane is released. Methane is a gas created from the breakdown of organic material, like our food garbage at the landfill. In the Arctic, a huge amount of methane has been trapped beneath the permafrost for millennia. As the world gets warmer, it's very reasonable that this methane will be released. Methane is a much more powerful greenhouse gas than even carbon dioxide. And if huge amounts of methane are released, the world will get warm extraordinarily fast. How are you going to die? Is it, you going to starve to death? No, seriously, you're going to die of thirst. Well, it might be the inability to get the dust out of my lungs. Or it might be starving to death. You're here, and you're just waiting for the world to die. Well, no. My approach is to inform people of, of a few factors that it has taken me many years to realize. All of us are going to die. What? Yeah, there are no exceptions. <laughs> man, talk about depressing. Guys, worst case scenario will drive a man to drink. So we have this. If you don't want to take the pills, we got this stuff. To the, uh, to the end of the world. Ah, oh, that's the stuff. Smoke them if you got them. This world ending stuff, you know, can get you down. It's a bummer. It does kind of suck, yeah. Thankfully, most of the world's climate scientists don't think it's too late for us to save ourselves. But after a day with Guy, it's hard not to believe death is imminent. Pressed on me. I'm the patient, remember? I know, I know. Look, I wish to think, what if he's right? In 15 years from now, we're all dead. I mean, there's so much more I still want to do. I mean, I feel like I haven't done anything in my life yet. Nothing. Ar Arnold, you've done a few things. Mm -hmm. 